Welcome to another video in the SCE ps for hana Fixed Assets playlist. I am using this video as a checkpoint. I am really happy with the progress we achieved in the Fixed Asset playlist. It is one of the complicated areas in SCEP. And when I think about Fixed Assets, I always have in mind multiple points. So the first is the Fixed Asset Acquisition Value and how to control it completely. The second is the Accumulated Depreciation and the Depreciation Expense and how to control it also and then the parallel ledgers so how to how to report our fixed assets on multiple accounting principles and how to show the differences between the accounting principles or the financial standards because in fixed assets there are many differences so the first part the acquisition value of the asset now we understand how to post fixed asset acquisition and how to increase the acquisition value by posting post capitalization or additional acquisition after the original acquisition either for assets that are acquisitioned in the same year or acquisitioned in previous years and also how to decrease the acquisition value by posting retirement either in the same year or in previous years also and then accumulated depreciation the second part we now understand how the accumulated depreciation is posted is posted every month when we post the depreciation expense and we also understand how we can increase it by posting unplanned depreciation how we can decrease it by posting a depreciation write-up so we now we should have complete control over the value of the accumulated depreciation and also we understand now how to control the planned depreciation expense so we understand how SCP actually calculate planned depreciation the useful life the depreciation key how we can use the fields like the ordinary depreciation start date to control the planned depreciation, how we can shut down an asset. All of this will give us control over the depreciation value. And the third thing is the parallel ledger or parallel reporting for different financial standards. So in all the demos I did, I always used IFRS and the gap as an example. So now we understand how the asset can have different useful life between two different accounting standards, how the asset can be a unilateral asset, which means that it's posted only in one accounting principle and in the other, it is directly posted to an expense account when we acquisition it and then what happens when we depreciate and retire such an asset so now we should have a complete control over all the values that we have in our fixed assets so if you have any issues in your balance sheet or in your in your company for wrong values in the fixed assets so wrong acquisition values wrong accumulated depreciation wrong depreciation posted every period you should now understand completely how to fix any issues you have let me know in this video, in the comments of this video, what else you want me to add in this playlist. I still have some ideas in mind. I know some of you have requested something like uh, retirement obligation and uh, asset revaluations. I will do my best to add them. Also, let me know what else you want to see in this playlist. And let me know what do you think about this playlist so far. So do you think it has been useful? Do you think it has been very simple? I did not include enough details. Or do you think it was to the point and you learned from it as a reminder if you want to see the member only videos that are in the playlist you have to be a gold member or higher in the youtube channel so you can check the channel membership program i will leave you a link here also if you are not able to access the channel membership on youtube you can access the channel membership on patreon and i have uploaded the same member videos there so you'll be able to access them on patreon also if you would like to chat with me or with the other community members you can check the platinum membership it will give you access to a Slack community where you can chat with me or with the other Platinum members to discuss the videos, any issues or any questions you have, or also to recommend future topics if you want. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next videos.